Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I thought of switching things up a little and give you a sneak peek of what goes on behind the scenes when an artwork goes wrong. When I first decided on the direction of this video, the narrative was a lot wittier in my mind. Needless to say, this voiceover didn't go as planned either. What was that saying again? When it rains, it pours. Originally, what I had in mind for this piece was inspired by the last soft floral abstract, Teardrops of a Peony. Due to overwhelming response, and by overwhelming, I really just mean 300 views to be exact, I thought of creating something similar. But I have learned that greatness cannot be replicated. On a side note, I hope you get my sarcasm. I might be a little delusional, but I'm also blessed with awareness. At this current rate of gradual depleting views, I'm probably just clutching at straws at the moment to try and salvage them. That, and also because I've used too much paint and heavy medium on this to quit halfway, I've came too far to back up. Or partly because I was also stubborn thinking I could fix this. I first started with stronger colours, but decided to fall back into familiarity with soft pastels and dreamy shades. I wanted an ethereal garden of roses, but with a contrast on the bottom half of the canvas. I wish I chose another flower to paint because it's too similar to the previous one. But roses are so fun, and so easy, to create with a palette knife. I justified my choice by telling myself peonies and roses are two different species. This piece was a classic case of strong start, weak finish. Unfortunately, this has been a lifelong lesson that I'm stuck in, like an endless marathon on a hamster wheel. At this stage, things were still looking hopeful. I've completed the object in focus, which is this pink rose, and I really like the texture of it. When trying to use the knife to blend out all the other pastel colours in hues of green to create that ethereal garden of fantasy that I had in mind. Moving on to the next part, I was toying with the idea of translucent roses, glowing in white and radiating purity, hence the ivory right roses. At this point, I was also running out of heavy medium, but I wanted to finish this painting in one sitting. So I'm just trying to smear as much paint across the top half of the canvas to preserve the rest of the heavy medium for the other parts of the painting. Budgeting and cost efficiency 101. Things took a left turn here when darkness concealed me and I got a little bowl of the palette knife. I find myself stuck in the same cycle of crying flowers where I have to drag the paint down to blend it and tone down the darkness. So far things were still alright on this side of the diptych but my plans to finish this in one sitting got disrupted by work and I had to revisit this again tomorrow. The problem with painting is that when you step away, we lose that train of focus. There are times when revisiting a painting does good but for this one, I lost sense of direction of where I wanted this to go. My moodiness must have affected my colour choice and an out of place paints grey that reflected my ostensible regret appeared. I had no will to finish this piece, but I'm in too deep now at this stage to call it quits. Since it's already damned, it's go big or go home, and I doubled down on paint's grey, further making a mess of this canvas. I once read that we tend to self-sabotage, it's because it allows us to predict what is going to happen, which gives us the illusion of self-control. This is me, projecting my self-destructive tendencies onto this canvas because I know it's not going to live up to my expectations. At this point, I'm just carelessly smudging the paint and mudding everything in my palette knife's line of sight. I braid on with more teary effect by dragging all the paint down in a desperate attempt to harmonize the colors. But what are tears without teardrops? At end's width, I dip the tip of the knife to apply little globs of paint to give it a more abstractish look. Maybe leaves might help, as I fiercely dabbed dark shades of green below the roses. As you can see, I've completely lost the plot. In this frame, I've spotted flailing a flat white brush across the top part of the canvas, hoping that a dose of pearl white can wash this disaster away and bring my ethereal garden of heavenly roses back. The past mistakes of my abstract spots below haunts me, and I try to rid of it with a paint brush creating a waterfall in hopes of concealing my lack of artistic judgement before the paint dries. The song Cry Me A River starts playing in my mind and I had to tell myself to stop being so dramatic. After a few more pathetic attempts of trying to save this, I decided to call it a day. The very next evening, I am born again with renewed determination. It doesn't look as bad today. Is it because the paint has dried? My first instinct was to fix these wilting flowers which, thankfully, stopped smudging and I am able to paint over them with a fresh coat of ivory white. 
The act of painting offers a lot of life lessons. The situation is what we perceive it to be, depending on our state of mind. Bleak and dire, or hopeful and promising, it is within our control. This painting is the same, but I entered it today with a new mindset, allowing me to view it in an entirely different perspective. Humble, I touched up the rest of the roses and spread the joy of pink and white across the canvas, bringing the darkness to light. After a few more strokes of the palette knife, I have decided that my work is done. Now you must be thinking, Lena, if you hate this, why are you uploading it? Is this a pick-me technique to fish for compliments? No, as mentioned, I'm a capitalist and an opportunist. I've wasted 8 hours of my youth painting this and I'm going to milk every cent out of it from YouTube for this. Having said that, I'm still not as shameless to sell things that I don't like. However, since beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, you can get this piece for free when you purchase Teardrops of a Peony. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this 6 minute rant. See you guys in the next video. Bye!